Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today we're gonna to do some barbecue brisket nachos. So be sure and stick around. <music> Hey, if you're anything like me, you always have leftover barbecue. I cook a lot of it and I don't eat all of it. I give a lot of it away, but I still end up with some extra stuff in the refrigerator. So today we're gonna take some of that leftover brisket from our last brisket cook. I'll put a card right here and uh, we're gonna make some brisket barbecue nachos. All right, folks, what we have here is some leftover brisket from the point end. Cooking for five today. So I'm gonna start out with that much brisket and it's cold and we're just taking out the old, uh, Meat cleaver here, I'm gonna cut thin slices. Make sure it's cold, make sure your brisket's cold because it's easy to cut those thin slices with cold brisket. If it's warm, it's gonna be a battle. So just work your way through the brisket, cutting slices like this, and then we'll work uh, on chopping it all up for some uh, brisket barbecue nachos. All right, so what I like to do is start with a small pile here. If you try to do it in a big pile, it's gonna be a complete mess and you're not gonna be able to cut through it. So, move your finger out of the way so you don't chop it off. That'd be a totally different video. Looks good, make that pile off to the side. And keep on doing that same thing. You know how it goes. About three slices. That's a lot of fat, but that's all right. It's going to be flavored later on. Woohoo! Hey, what was that movie, Alien, where they did the one of those? Yeah, don't do that. That'll cut your finger off. Yep. Pile of chopped brisket. If you got pent-up frustration, just chop the shit out of some meat. Gotta move my beer. Don't want brisket inside my beer. Is that right? Yeah, that's weird. Nobody wants that. I don't know, maybe that's the thing. Okay. Big old pile of chopped brisket. And I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna go redneck here. We're gonna use the old uh, nacho cheese sauce that's in the can. Look, that's a lot of brisket, but I like my nachos to be meaty. So, I got another piece of a point here. Make sure your knife's sharp. I didn't really sharpen this one. Hadn't sharpened it in about six months, but I don't use it often, so it kind of works out. All right, so now you might be asking, what's Justin gonna do with this pile of chopped brisket? I'm gonna throw it on that there Kamado. First, we're gonna wrap it in some aluminum foil, put some juices in there to make sure it gets nice and simmered. I'll show you the whole process, stick around. All right, so the next play here, let's get your beer out of the way. We'll come back to that. Hit this aluminum foil. Foil? Is it foal or foil? Depends on where you're from. I know a lot of people that say foal. It's foil. Don't even ask that question. All right. Make a little boat. Apple cider vinegar and water, 50-50. What does that do? It gives it some moisture and a little bit of tanginess. It's good for the soul. Transport all that over there. Hit it. Again, another transport. Hit it. We're trying to retain moisture here. This is the point cut, as opposed to the flat. So if you're cooking a flat and doing this, you may wanna put some beef tallow in there or something. As you know, the, uh, the lean side, or the, the flat side of the brisket is leaner for all you noobs. You gotta start somewhere, I understand. Okay, that is a beautiful looking pile of chopped brisket. Do that again one more time, get some scragglers on the board. Man, it smells awesome already. 
hit it again. Blah, 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 blah. Put a bunch in there. Nice and tangy. And we're going to hit it with a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's. I know you're thinking, man, sweet doesn't really go with, bar with, uh, with beef brisket, but when barbecue nachos are involved, anything goes. You can put whatever you want on there. All right, about like that. We're going to be covering it up so it's not going to burn. So now we're going to come through. I got a little bit of this uh, Killer Hogs barbecue rub left. There we go. We're going to do this. Roll it up. Roll it up. Hold up, close it at the top. It don't have to be perfect. There we go. We'll just throw in a little wax thingy right there, light it up, and wait for it to get up to temp. We'll be back. All right, guys, got our packet of uh, chopped brisket here. We're just gonna put this on the grill and get it nice and warmed up and some more smoke on it. <laughs> We're rolling with some Rico's nacho cheddar cheese sauce in a can because it's wonderful. If you don't like it, sorry. All right, guys, we got all of our ingredients here fighting the flies as usual in the summer. Uh, so we have the uh, the round tortilla, tortilla rounds. Don't get the thin ones, they break and they're no good for this kind of thing. So as I mentioned earlier, we got the gourmet, not the Rico's gourmet nacho sauce. All we did was heat that up in the microwave, get it nice and warm. We got the, uh, the chopped brisket back here on the Kamado. We're gonna go grab that and we'll be right back. All right, folks, we're having some audio difficulties. I think this is the third time in the last month. This is a pickle fork. If you're interested in purchasing one of those, let me know. Sorry for the audio issues. I'm working on fix. 